More or less, everyone knows the benefits of computer simulations in science and engineering. Computer simulations help us to save money, energy, and time by performing experiments inside a computer and investigating several different conditions without doing real tests. Technically speaking, this is called scientific computing, a term that encompasses a wide variety of computational sciences. In this regard, one of the questions is to find the most efficient and productive approach to perform scientific computing for a specific application. The first option coming to your mind is probably taking advantage of commercial simulation and analysis software programs. Yes, that's definitely a good option, especially if you have lots of money to pay for the licenses. They are super fancy, they are easy to use, and they can help you save time when you work in the industry or for a company. But the issue is you don't have freedom in controlling the details of the models and customizing their limited set of features and modules. And also, what if you want even more out of it? Like, if you want to simulate something that hasn't been modeled by someone else yet, a common case in academia or R&D environments. Indeed, the main issue is all about freedom. You should know there is an abundant world of unlimited possibilities for scientific computing already out there. You want to know what that is? Hmm, that is nothing but the power of open source scientific computing. Huge number of libraries, frameworks, and programs that have been developed for several decades and they are all freely available to you. Can't believe it? No problem. Let us show you how to use them in real-world research projects. Welcome to Talks Riders.